Greetings, fellow tailors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Death of the Isle, episode 31, Bespoke Magi. So the current priority right now is to convert and recruit prisoners. So what is the status, you wonder? Is Galsdier, uh was enslaved, uh, given a physical gem, given the book for Gladiator, and then re-imprisoned to be recruited. So he has converted, as you can see, he converted, if I'm not mistaken, from a masterful conversion ritual, which was like absurd, because that's one of the things we wanted for Bowen for like time and memoriam, but it's Gals uh, Galsdier got it anyway. So he is currently in the process of being recruited and he has 10 resistance left. So it's only a matter of time. Gladwin is in the process of being converted uh, and then once she converts, she will be enslaved and then taught some sort of magic. I'm not really sure we have figured that out yet. Um, if she's enslaved, I suppose she could inscribe her own book. Um, we still have to figure that out because we do have a fire mage book. So she could become a fire mage or she could try to inscribe something new. And then Gazelle here is a succubus, and she is being converted. And once she converts, she can go straight to being recruited because she doesn't need to go through the process like the others did. In fact, Caladwin doesn't need to be enslaved either. She already is magically gifted. So Caladwin and Gazelle can skip the whole enslave, learn, back to the prison, recruit process. Uh, so they'll be a little bit faster. So that's what's going on there. Um, while I work on that, I wanted to offer you early birds to the stream, the opportunity to vote on sort of other projects to work while I do the prisoner project. So here is the poll. Uh, we can work on better weapons and armor. Uh, Tal is really the only mage decked in mage gear. Uh, we do now have the ability to... Uh, start to repair our stuff through scribing. So we have the fighter's uh, repair gear, the gear repair, and then the mage's... Um... Oh man, this list is too big. Uh, it's somewhere in there. But um, that's one thing that we could do. We could also scribe more scrolls to teach our people more abilities. That's totally legit. We could improve defenses. Uh, the way I would probably improve defenses at this right rate is to make sure that we have um, places for us to escape to. Because often I have found that we are very close to map edge and with nowhere to go. Uh, so possibly panic rooms of, of sorts. I don't know. I'd have to figure it out. I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good, good goal, though. Uh, we can also create more ma magic gems to... Um, to work on offering that to Fingface and Sildan. Because Fingface and Sildan don't have to remain slaves forever. They can be taught to be one of us as well. Or viewer suggestions. Something that you guys come up with. And Josh again, thank you for the resub. Welcome. So here is East Lake, and we've been getting a lot of quest opportunities. Well, some of them are really weird, but a lot of quest opportunities. And as soon as our population is fulfilled a little bit more, I think it's very reasonable to start going to them, which I am looking forward to. Because it would be really handy to start to get some of the, uh oh, we have a raid. Some of the medieval books that are currently locked to us. And Ignifolio, thank you for the resub as well. So. A prepare a wild coastal elvish raid. Got it. Uh, we have like a fire mage here. Is that what you are? Yes. Oh, um. so there was a comment on YouTube and I figured I would just announce this in case anyone else was confused. How do I tell that there are magic users? Um, it's this little icon here, this little red icon. So red means fire mage and, and they're sort of color coded. So if you're familiar with it. So for instance, nobody has an icon here. So I know that there's no minor magic in this group so if i went through them one by one oh no there is i didn't see that because of the banner 
So Borean is a death knight. Interesting. Steadfast, abrasive, death knight. And then of the southern group. Oh, there is another one. A wayfarer. So wayfarer is like a cantrip mage. Um, or a um, cantrip fighter. Okay, that doesn't make sense. But, you know, like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of fighter. Got it. I am scheduling everybody inside. I don't want anyone to get caught out. And we are going to need a door open. In fact, this is something I probably should have done ahead of time. Making sure that there was a... A valid uh, path inside. Oh, actually, there is. This one. Never mind. So, let's deal with the southern group first. So, of all of the recruits, I don't really care about the Wayfair. Sickly, pretty, misogynist, beautiful... I'm just making sure there's none of them that would be excellent recruits. And no, none of them would, like, scream recruit me. I mean, Farian would be, but he's unwaveringly, or she, yeah, he is unwaveringly loyal. So yeah, there isn't anyone that I would say must have. And we'll figure out the northern groups later. Right, Guero, you can turn back. You are having break risks. Because you're a tortured artist who lost a friend. I did also have a lot of YouTube comments about why I don't have uh, Summon Minion on Autocast. And the reason is... Um, there would be a lot of times, like now where I don't have any minions, but I would not want uh, Tal casting minions. And if it was on auto cast, he'd just be blurting out minions right in the middle of a fight. So it's why I have it turned off because they won't use it intelligently. They'll just use it as soon as it's off cooldown in the dumbest, most frustrating way possible. I don't see that any of these guys have like ranged weapons at all, so. I'll just start lighting them up, cutting their heads off. It would be ideal if I got some um, hearts out of it, too. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. All right. I see that they're fleeing. Let's see about a pommel strike. So taking a look at who can be grabbed. Capture. Oh, I don't have a proper prison, do I? I meant to leave the beds in here so that I could do heart surgery more easily, and clearly I hadn't. All right, I'm going to tell this group to hold fire so that we don't just murder who we try to capture. Apparently, that was a pommel strike that got outranged. Oh, and Gudon went down, so we'll capture him as well. Uh, I am going to drop my thrombacks. Okay, well, even punching him, he died. Okay, and he died too. Attempts were made. They did not work out, but they were they were attempted. Two, two prisoners is pretty good, though. Uh, given our batting average of, like, zero, where we just murder everyone, two I can live with. I th also think that... Um, I am probably done with hauling bodies. I'm just going to leave them rotting in the field. I don't really care. 
So that's group one, and uh, Tal is going to have to patch up uh, who he's holding and who Madzi is holding. So you guys also voted that I uh, craft gear. So manage prisoners and craft new gear. Now, the one issue with crafting new gear is that we um, don't have a ton of... Uh, we don't have a ton of magicite, so we'll have to be careful about what we use and how we use it. So the Fire Mage is a careful shooter with absolutely no shooting skill. Um, I wouldn't be against necessarily going for the Fire Mage, but I'm not going to go out of my way either. So of these two that we captured, nine of them I think would make good recruits. One's missing a lung and an arm anyway. Uh, so I think you know what we're going to do to them. Uh, Tal? That was weird. Like, refused to tend. I'm trying to figure out what our range is going to be. Because I want to be shooting at them before they're shooting at me. Oh, he's fireballing me. Rude. Dodged. So Madzi's coming back over, ready to pummel strike some more. Where are you in a better mood? Yeah, you seem to be in a little bit better mood. Well, oh, we're getting shot at. Alright, uh, that's because I don't have them as fire at will. So now they're firing at will. Yeesh. They died pretty quick. Fire Mage is, um, spinning up another fireball. I cast Dodge. It was very successful. And they're finally attacking me. Tal's making sure that we're going to have some lovely prisoners to experiment upon. That was strange. That, uh... That enemy had, like, a... an alert marker over his head, despite it just being dead. Alright, so ranged weapons in this group uh, are only Mathian. So as soon as we have a line of sight on Mathian, I'm gonna rip Mathian a new one so he doesn't fire on us. And then you guys, Mr. Fire Mage, meet Shield. Uh, I don't know how Madzi caught fire. Oh, she got firebolted by the fire mage. Rude. Let's have you guys fire on Matthew. All right, Matthew's downed. Madzi's jumping into the pond. And the other group is fleeing. The Death Knight's dead. I'm going to have these guys stop firing. I'll just undraft them. Oh, hey, look, a little map. I almost cut your leg off. Can I get you without you dying? Shield can pommel strike you. I wish Pommel Strike, like, you could queue it up. No, oh, you can. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there it goes. Capture. Have no idea who he is, but uh, he's my prisoner now. I don't think there was anyone that managed to flee off the map tile. I think they were all killed. Which is, uh, awesome.
All right. So attack thwarted and profited. We have a, we have um, three potential hearts, which is a whole orb of the eternal. Um, the person you're holding will survive. Nine hours is fine. So uh, you guys wanted me to make gear. Uh, what sort of gear to make? Might magic. Should we try to gear up? Um, so shield could definitely have tougher gear, or and and Madzy of course as well. Um, or we can start working on magical gear, doing robes for the mages, and have you guys pick the mages. So that will be up to you. It's also worth noting that uh, Rimworld of Magic has updated since uh, last uh, stream. There are some bugs introduced, but um, ones that I'm not likely to bump into, I don't think. Did I have beds? I did. Why did I uninstall these? I really should build like a, uh, I guess I could start hauling enemies. I don't know, maybe building like a surgery room of sorts. Surgery room would be good. If I'm not mistaken, there is not a single research to do left in the game that doesn't require uh, books that I don't currently have. So I can just ignore that for quite a while. All right, one more minute to vote, but it looks like everybody wants me to do magical gear. Uh, how much? 1,300 magicite? That will... Yeah, that'll be all right. We have been doing strip mining to get magicite. Uh, so there's even magicite in this mine. There's like 170 of it. And then the other thing that Tal can do is summon minions to haul more limestone. So of these guys, let's see. Greedy and beautiful. You are. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna turn them all into hearts. Now the real question is: Should someone other than Tal attempt to do the surgery? Yeah, let's give Guero a shot. He's a tortured artist. Maybe his palate can be elf flesh and human flesh. I have no idea. I don't think it will go well, but where do I get new books? Um, I can either buy the new books or I can head to the ruins that get offered as quests. Oh, Guero did it. Good job, Guero. Uh, Guero, you want to do another one? Or are you skill maxed for the day? Let's see. Learning maxed today. Okay, shield. I think you were the other... No, it wasn't shield. He literally can't even do... It was crimson. Alright, crimson. Let's have you practice. And you did it too. And you're probably skill. Oh, you're not skill maxed for the day. Well, lucky you. You get to do the last one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that is the third heart. Perfect. So in terms, uh, we're going to do magic gear. 
and I'll ask who should be the first recipient. Um, but the first question I have is um, who to heal? Because obviously I'm going to make an orb of the eternal with these hearts. So there's a few different options here. Uh, there is Madzi. Madzi's arm scar. Which hurts her manipulation. It's a pretty deep scar. It's uh, it's just, It lowers her right arm efficiency by 22%. Uh, there's Thomas's his toe. Uh, slows his moving speed, albeit not much. There's Guero's middle finger. And again, hurts his manipulation, but probably not by much. Uh... Where is actually? Well, it's because he's hopped up on um, elf bread, so it's hard to measure that. Um, and then there is Sildin, who's missing an arm and a leg. Uh, he's a slave, however, but, you know, he doesn't necessarily. Doesn't necessarily mean he'll stay a slave forever. So, there's a sub poll. Queuing up Orb of the Eternal, then. Whoa, Sildan. 12 to 5% change? That is quite a lot of certainty change. Okay, we have the Orb. Nice. wearing tribal leather yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to spend a minute to work on outfit setups because that's some strange stuff but yeah the uh the limestone that i wanted for infusing oh that's not chunks is being hauled by everybody is awesome. We can also, if I, well, we're very low on building, wow, how are we so low on building materials? I've been using it, clearly. I'm just so much lower than I thought I would be. What did I do down here? Every, so I left gaps of four. We'll start another mining tunnel. All right, Madzi. Seems to me like you are getting an orb. Well, immediately striking coal. And okay, her eight elvish bread was cured, so I'm just going to go into dev mode and remove the scar because. Uh, for some reason or another, the game thinks Elvish Bread is a medical condition. So, yes. I find myself clapping about, uh, about that regularly. Um, 
So I'm going to pause it for a moment and try to come up with what I would consider a reasonable gear set for the average mage. Um, given cost. Because what Tal is wearing might not... Well, okay. How should I handle mage gear? I outfit them I with only the best stuff or outfit them affordably so more mages can wear more stuff. So I could go full out Archmage, Cloak of Supremacy, you know, I don't even know what the best stuff is that we have access to right now. Um, so I suppose that's the first thing they answer. So robes of the Archmage is probably the best robe that we have access to. And that is 500 Magicite per robe. So I would not be able to make many of them. Uh, the Disciple's Robe is 250. And it has some benefits. It makes you work faster and learn faster and move a little faster. I mean, it, yeah. It's like a Junior Robe. The Mage Robe is almost as expensive as the Archmage Robe in terms of Magicite. Uh, the Wanderer's Cloak is way is a quarter of the cost of the Cloak of Supremacy. Uh, Mantle of Protection. What layer is this? Layer Cloak. Okay. There's Mantle of Protection, which uh, we could incorporate as well, which I think is the same Cloak layer. So yeah, that would be... I would do a Wanderer's Cloak, something like that. We'll see. Um... So the best stuff is probably we'll only be able to make like one set of and we'll have to grind for the additional gear. Uh, so Tal has the arcane hood. Is Can I do better than that? Arcane hood is actually not too expensive. Yeah. The Arcane Hood is actually pretty cheap compared to everything else. Um, but one more minute to vote whether it's the best stuff or affordably. And then I'll put together uh, different outfits accordingly. So the outfits are going to be like what the average fighter wears, what the average mage wears, and then what like the best mage wears. So Archmage, Mage, and Fighter. That's like a three-tier system. No one slave. No, we'll, I'll, uh, it will be a little slow to get that set up because I don't have it memorized or, or arranged. What? We'll work through it. X42 and Louie, thank you for the resubs, by the way. What's sad is I was I started this um, mining tunnel, um, honestly, in hopes of of getting chunks that we could infuse. So the fact that we're Getting coal is just like, oh, it's not what I wanted, but oh, whatever. Gift horse mouth, right? I'm very, very bad at counting off every four. I'll do it this way. One, two, three, four here. Five. This is far less painful. Okay. The other thing we could do is we could um, mine up 
uh, limestone chunks from our mine and then just use those mindstone chunks for infusions, right? Because we, we don't, uh, we have a seemingly infinite amount of them. So it's not too much of a problem for me to go that route either. Uh, Stochastic Turtle, thank you for the bits. And you guys want them in the best stuff. Got it. Uh, who should get stuff first? So who to outfit first? So we have Thomas, J. Fry, Guero, uh, Turnip. Or one of the new joins. I'll have that just be a catch-all. I also forgot that there's technically Crimson, who shouldn't be in the same armor that Madzi and Shield should be. It's going to get a little complicated, I think. And then, in terms of the gear... Uh, I have to figure out what I what I like most. So I think what I'm, I I probably want to prioritize is like psychic sensitivity, mental break thresholds. I'm trying to figure out like what gear is going to be ideal, a balance between like mana and protection and all that. I think the Dreamcatcher Coronet. Yeah. So this has energy 25, arcane resistance 20. Whereas the arcane hood is 10, 10, 10, energy regen max. And so. Hmm. But the Coronet is like, uh, uh, like five times the cost. The uh, Soul Reapers is um, necromancy only. It only can be worn by a necromancer. It's uh, new in this patch. So there's no point in considering that until we have a necromancer. I could see the advantage of going Dreamcatcher's Coronet. Um, uh, yeah. But it, it's going to make it really, really expensive. So let's take a look at it again. It's 25 energy, 20. So this doesn't have the energy gain that the arcane hood does. And I might even want the, the mana regen more than the, um, yeah, I think I want the mana regen. Uh, wait, the disciple hood has 25% max energy. That can't be right. There's no way that that's true. All right, I got to make one of those and see if that is indeed true. Because if that is true, that is really stupid strong. So let's whip one of those up with Tao. I guess we're all disciples of the, of the Necromancer. So yeah, I'd be like, all right with that. Yeah, no, okay. It uh, That's super high max energy. So I'm going from 175 to 195. Okay, I think we have the hood that we want. I don't think that that's balanced, and I also don't think I care. It also increases the global work speed, the learning, lowers mental break, speeds up eating, and speeds up... Uh, sleeping so yeah okay and it has a creepy little like cultist hood look to it too i uh i'm gonna save before i die it i know that the patch introduced some bugs with dying clothing and i just want to make sure that um i don't get hit with that okay yeah we're good i like it in fact, it kind of looks a bit like a ring bearer. Um, not ring bearer. Wraith. Uh, Hood-esque a bit. Uh, so I think the outfit will be Archmage robes. 
Um, but let me figure out the alternatives. You voted for the best stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing better than the Archmage Robe, I don't think. Because the alternative to the Archmage Robe would be the uh, the Mage Robe or the Dis Disciple Robe. So let's compare them side by side. This has max energy flat 25, energy regen 25, ability and ability damage 20 and 20. Um, Disciple Robes give more mana but does not make abilities hit harder. So yeah, clearly the Archmage is better. And then the Mage Robes uh, don't have stats. What What the hell? Okay, uh, I'd have to make a Mage Robe because apparently it's missing tooltips. <laughs> All right, I'm going to assume the Archmage Robe is the best. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and assume that. I think that's a safe assumption. So, uh, that means what we want, and I think what, what, what is reasonable is every mage that wears a set of this, a set of the best stuff, also needs to learn um, repair gear, I think it's called. Where is it? No, not magic wardrobe. Although magic wardrobe would work. I thought they had a repair gear ability mend. There's so many things here. And are they? They're not alphabetized either. Uh. Sorry, I'm spell mending this. Okay, yep, spell mending. So I think it's very reasonable for the people with the best gear to wear that. So I think um, the bracers, that's the last thing I want to look at. So this is an artifact layer that can be used to increase. I don't really need bracers to cover the arms of our mages though. The, oh, those are metal. So deflection is magic resist and defense is also magic resist. So this is 40% um, block chance to physical attacks. And then deflection is 30% for projectiles. I think bracers of deflection would be reasonable, but what is the cost? A hundred more magicite. I, yeah, we could do that. The other thing is, um, in the same artifact layer, we might want to consider a ring instead. I don't think we need keen intellect. Ring of Blood. Uh, uh, that's for Blood Magic. Ring of the Eternal Blue is for Scions. Ring of Malice is for Death Knight. So rings don't really make sense. Yeah. Okay. You guys want J Fry to be wearing the next best stuff. So let's start cooking that up. I'm going to make another Disciple Hood. And these. Oh, um, we'll move that up to the top. So this is uh, for J Fry. We're also going to want Spell Mending times two. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. 
If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord if you would like to join my online gaming community. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs. <laughs>